Hello, Tim from Mossman Studios here. Today I will be showing you how I paint my Blood Angels Marines with a Blood Angels Death Company backpack. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first color I will need for the armor is Macrite Red. Citadel Macrite Red. This one. For this I will be covering all the red parts. Um, by that I mean all the armor and eventual uh, other red parts. So, yes. Uh, there is also no need to be picky because this is just a base coat. And yes, uh, I might also have forgotten to mention this model is spray coated with a chaos black spray paint. So yes, um, by just applying this Macrite red color to all the red parts is just the base coat. So I will do that and uh, I will be right back. Now that the first coat is dry, uh, we will um, coat it again with a lighter color called Blood Red. This one. So yes, uh, we will paint all the previous red areas that we just painted but we will leave some of the recesses behind to create kind of a shadowy effect. So yes. So, uh, I will go ahead and paint the rest of the model, and uh, I will be back when it is dry. So, see you in a second. Now that the blood red is dry, we will start on the metals. So, we will paint all the metal parts in bolt gun metal, and, uh, and, uh, we will also paint all the parchments over here and the wings over here um, in scorched brown. So, yes. Um, I will be back once I've done that. Now that the metal parts and uh, the brown parts are dry, uh, I will highlight all the parts where I painted scotch brown which is the wings on the back, the parchments, um, the skull on the weapon, the chest quila. Um, yes I think those are all the things. Uh, I will highlight these with Deneb stone which is a foundation color. This one. And um, Yes, so I will be back uh, when that is done. Now that I have highlighted with Deneb Stone, I will start applying washes. So the first wash I will apply is the Devlin Mud, which will be all over the red areas, the Deneb Stone areas, and also these little packs on their legs which I have painted scorched brown. 
So yes, we will apply Devla Mud and then I will apply Badab Black Wash to all the metal parts. So yes, I will be right back when that is done. Now when the washes are dry, you will um, apply another coat of Blood Red. Uh, you will do this all over the red areas again but you will leave more of the recesses behind than you did uh, in the last step. So if you left a little thin line of recesses behind before you will leave that line and a little more behind now. So I will do this and I'll be back when that is done. Now that the red are done we will focus on highlighting the metal parts. And for this I will use chainmail, which is a this color. And um, I'll focus in on let me show you on the model here. I'll focus on reaching the top parts of this and over here, also here and on the sides and mouth card um, and on the back on reaching inside of these and around the corners and in these small ones. Also all these little knots on the backpack and uh, and boltskin I will use uh, chamber on so they will pop. Uh, I will do this and be back when that is done. Okay, now that I have highlighted the metal parts, um, I'll highlight up these parchments and the wing, and also the chest aquila, and all these things that uh, I painted the stone before, I highlight them up with the stone again. So, starting with the parchment. Also be careful to leave recesses behind so it will show shadow effect. So, I will now continue to do the wings and chest aquila. Now that I have highlighted all the denim stone parts, uh, I will continue and painting the pockets. So, now I will paint in the eyes.
so maybe that was not your own camera, but there was some raised edges that was blood drops. Now I'll take my white and paint in the edges. Or dot. So I'm starting at the bottom. Make a little bigger one and on the top. Make a smaller one. Like so. In general, have acquired a very gem like effect. And uh, with that, I think. The model is complete. So, now the model is done, and uh, this may look a little um, battle worn, but that is because it is a very, very old model, and the paints uh, I've already repainted him two or three times. But I assure you, he is really good tabletop quality, because you will see him from approximately this range. So comparing him to one of my normal marines, I think they are pretty similar. So yes, I thank you for watching my tutorial on how to paint a Blood Angel Space Marine. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button and uh, for for more tutorials. And please comment on what on your opinions and if you'd like to see any more tutorials than of what you would like to see. So, thank you. And, uh, yes, goodbye.